Hello and welcome to Elgin County Living. I'm your host, Katherine Thompson. Today my co-host, Kate Burns Gallagher, and I will be exploring Elgin County's vibrant arts and entertainment community. First, we'll be visiting Julia Hansford's art studio in Sparta. Then we'll be visiting Stan Portley's and the Art Emporium in Port Stanley, and we'll finish the day off in West Lorne at Alley Cat Music. Some say that Elgin County is a work of art itself, with its sprawling countryside, tranquil waters, and quaint towns and villages. Many performing and visual artists have been inspired by this natural beauty and have decided to call the area home. Studios and galleries are numerous in the quaint towns and villages that dot the Elgin County countryside, and local artists have an innate ability to capture the essence of rural life. Our first stop is at the new Julia Hansford Art Studio in historic Sparta. Thanks so much, Catherine. So we are here in Sparta with the newest addition to the Sparta business community, Julia Hansford, and her studio. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Julia. Um, I moved here in January, so everything is new to me, but uh, I went to school for fashion design and graphic design. I have diplomas in both, so I always knew I was going to be creative, but never thought I would be a painter ever. <laughs> so anyway, I started painting three years ago, and then it's just been this ever since. Great. So tell us how you got into painting three years ago. I actually took a creative concept class and we had to do a painting as a project and my teacher bought it and he said this is what you should be doing and so I quit my job and <laughs> started painting full time. That's wonderful. So what brought you to Sparta specifically? Uh, I grew up in the country and then I moved to London for 13 years and I was ready to come back to the country and start a new new life with my new painting and this was the perfect spot for me. I love it, everything about it. Great, so is this your first studio? Yes, I just started painting three years ago. So I do, I've been doing festivals and now I have my own shop. Great, so now that we're in the shop, tell us a little bit about the shop and what people can experience here in the studio. Um, the shop itself is actually, um, it's kind of like a, an art piece in itself. Um, I painted all the walls as murals and different things and it's kind of like a far far away land and um, there's different styles of paintings there's paintings more for children for nurseries and then there's also a darker side with a dark sense of humor great tell us a little bit about the children's um, line of paintings versus the darker sense of humor paintings uh, the children's ones are bright they're funny people smile the darker ones still a little bit funny but they some of them are zombies, and it's just a totally different style. Great. So what kind of people are you seeing coming into the shop, even though you just opened recently? Um, luckily, I do have the different styles. So it's everything from teenagers, like my darker stuff, and then to the grandparents who buy for their grandchildren. So it's kind of for everyone. Wonderful. Now, the building you're in is kind of unique as well. Can you tell us a little bit about the building you're in here in Sparta? Uh, the building was built in 1840, and it is actually known as the butcher shop. So behind here, this is the old refrigerator where the meat hung, and the back room was um, the ice room, so it was just full for the refrigerator. Great. Now, since you're new, you might not have a whole bunch of events planned, but what do you have um, planned for the future and upcoming here in the studio? Um, Christmas will be a very big deal for me. I'm just going to go over the top. It's going to be a place to see in the winter for sure. Wonderful. And anything else you can expect to come out of the studio here in Sparta? Um, I, it's an ever-evolving project. Um, I still have tons of ideas that I want to put. You know, the ceilings may be turned into murals. It's just going to be different every time you come in. Wonderful. And if people are looking to get in touch with you, how's the best way to get a hold of you? Um, I'm on Facebook. I have my website, juliehansford.com. It has all my information. And then I'm here in Sparta. Great. So if people are looking to find any cool and neat and interesting artwork, they can come down to the Julia Hansford Studio. Absolutely. It's got something for everyone, affordable prices. It, it should be good. Great. Well, back to you, Catherine, from here in Sparta. Thanks, Kate. When you're in Sparta, make sure you stop by Julia Hansford Studio to see her unique and whimsical creations. Let's take a break, and then we'll be right back on Elkin County Living.
Welcome back to Elgin County Living. Our next stop is Stan Portley's, a destination for unique home decor, gift items, antiques, and hand-painted furniture. Thanks, Catherine. We're now down in Port Stanley here at Stan Portley's, timeless and unique, with owner-operator John Robinson. Thanks so much for joining us today, John. Well, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to do this. Uh, uh, we're always really excited about uh, any time we can get people to come down and enjoy our, our, our beautiful village, and uh, especially come down to Port Stanley and to Stan Portley's. Thanks. So can you give us a little bit of history about Stan Portley's and how it got to be here in Port Stanley? Well, Stan Portley's started off as, uh, actually, there's a little history to talk about the name. Um, my uh, older, my, my sister-in-law, who, uh, when her parents moved here from uh, Scotland back before the Second World War, um, they lived in Byron, and uh, when her dad went back overseas for the war, her mom used to bring her down on the weekends to, to Port Stanley. But, but Anne, being about three or four years old, couldn't, she didn't really know how to say Port Stanley, so she always used to ask her mom to take her to Stan Portley's. So, th so we sort of took the play on the, play on the words there, and we used that, and then when we decided to open the store here, um, because my sister... Uh, my sister-in-law and, and my wife were, 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 were parts, partners with us on it. Um, we decided to create that as the name because it's sort of fitting. And then we created a, uh, well, what we wanted to be uh, sort of an icon of what who Stan Portley was. And if you actually see our, our icon, uh, our, our basic logo there, there's this, this, this Portley gentleman with a checkered vest and a, and a top hat and a, like a beard and a very friendly countenance to him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and that was what we wanted to purvey to people. That was the fact that poor Stanley and Stan Portley's in particular uh, is, a, is a friendly place to come and see and shop in that, so. Great. So how long has Stan Portley's been open? And tell us about the transition from the beginning to where you are now. Uh, in 2004, we bought the building uh, we're standing in now, and we completely renovated it, um, uh, brought it right up to the to, to the uh, today's codes and stuff. Um, we completely rebuilt the front end of the building. Um, it was one of those things where um, there were the windows were almost structural in sense that, that was holding it all together. So we did some uh, quite a lot of different work here. Uh, we raised the ceiling up and and uh, we always tell people that with the work that was done here it's probably the safest place in Port Stanley mm -hmm. because of the amount of work that was done in, in the ceiling and that but uh, we we basically went from that to this store here. Mm -hmm. um, as I say and it's been it's been a, it's been a good uh, uh, fit for us and uh, 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 gave us a little bit more room. We also uh, have uh, we've had a couple of different tenants that we share at the front there we have uh, had a real estate guy there for a while and now we also have um, uh, the Harbortown Fudge, uh, which is uh, uh, which is great. This it's it's something one of the things where you you have the front door open here. Sometimes you don't know whether you need to run for pizza or <laughs> ice cream or fudge because you's, you're going to smell all of it when you're right here. Great. So here at 288 Bridge Street in Port Stanley, Stan Portley specializes in timeless and unique. Can you elaborate on what's here in the store for people? Well, we, we, we basically have anything from antiques right through to, to vintage and, and new giftware. Um, we've always had a really eclectic look about it. Um, um, probably one of the best ways to describe it is, uh, it would be about four or five years ago, one day my wife ran out and we have a little A-frame chalkboard we have out front, and she started writing on it, Lost Wives Found Here. And <laughs> most people that, that when they when they come to Port Stanley now, they, they they look for that sign and they see it and they know that this is Stan Portley's and this is a place to come. And um, so basically, say we run anywhere from say from 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 uh, vintage dishes and, and glassware, you know, um, antique f uh, furniture. Um, we've we've always had uh, uh, an affinity for painted furniture, and um, right from day one. Uh, we've always had this off-white painted furniture done like in a shabby chic style and uh, I always tell people uh, that one of the things that if you were to actually go through the homes in the North Shore Lake Erie you'll probably find one or two or maybe even three pieces of off-white painted furniture that came from our store so um, it it's has made it quite a thing and uh, we've actually had stuff go as far shipped as far as New Jersey and and so it goes around different places so it's uh, quite interesting what we do. Um, 
uh, what we did a few years ago, we discovered a new type of paint that seems to be really a, a rave on the market today, and, and, and we carry a, a Canadian-made line of chalk paint, which is basically used to refurbish furniture. And so we're actually doing things n in more than just a shabby chic style today. We're actually um, right from anything from a, a uh, you something you see something maybe come out of a French chateau to something you some from the southern southern Italy to to something that uh, is very contemporary in style and that but we can produce and and, and, and replicate a lot of different uh, finishes in that with this with the different chalk paint and the different products we have and uh, w we get quite excited about this because of the fact that all this stuff sort of goes together you can you can come here, you can come get some home decor, and you can actually do some painting, and you can, uh, we actually do workshops that we teach people how to do a lot of these things. And um, one of the things that we try to do here today at Stan Portley's is, is basically really empower people. So right from, right down, right from the people that come here to, to shop and that, that maybe buy paint from us, they do workshops, right to our staff who, one of the things we do, we encourage them to actually come, come to work and play because they get to play with the, with the paints and, 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 and by doing that, they, they just sort of really extend themselves into um, in sort of showing and helping and empowering people what the different things they can do. Now, if people are interested in coming down to Stan Portley's where it means fun and playing, how do they get a hold of you? Where can they find you? How do they get a hold of us? Well, we, we do have W, we have our, our, our website, www.stanportleys.com. Um, we also have a we're on Pinterest board, uh, and one of the interesting things on our Pinterest board is that um, when you go there, there's a number of group boards which are fed not only by us but by all the other Van Gogh distributors throughout North America. So you'll actually not just see the samples of stuff that we do, but from other people. So it's a great, I, I guess, sort of a, a source of uh, uh, creative influence. Um, we also have uh, uh, we also have a Facebook page. Um, and and we also you if you if you if you look for us we'll be we're on Twitter and we we, we um, um, periodically send things out about special things. Uh, one of the things that w the promotions going out national wide with Van Gogh is is that they act and it may be be sound creepy but uh, we have we have uh, one can of paint out there has a, a plastic ear in it which is supposedly Van Gogh's ear oh. and whoever <laughs> finds that will get five hundred dollars worth of chalk paint products. Um, so uh, it's, that's a little promotion that we have going on now. We have other different things that we have, have possibly going on. We'll probably have a pumpkin painting contest in the fall, okay. um, different things like that. Um, you know, other things Stan Portley does is we, we also get involved and incorporated with the different events that happen here throughout the year. Um, usually in, in April, there's a, a, a lady shopping event, mm -hmm. which um, is uh, uh, which is quite. It always seems to sell out. To, uh, that uh, I think they have 150 or 200 people can buy tickets and they get all kinds of different uh, grab bag type of thing that allows them to, to, to sample a little bit of everything that's in Port Stanley. Um, uh, I, I guess uh, uh, th th we have in the f again in the winter, t in, in, in November, we have a, uh, uh, another shopping event where it basically come out for the, for the weekend. Uh, it's, 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 it's basically set towards to, to, to the ladies come down and shop um, and they say there's other th there's things for the guys to do while they're here too so great well thanks so much for your time john we really appreciate it and out to our viewers out there remember sam portley's is a place where you can come and have some fun and i'm afraid i might be going home with a full back seat thanks kate if you're looking for a gift for someone special or something unique for your home stan portley's is the place to go let's take a short break
Welcome back. Next, we head just around the corner from Stan Portley's to the Art Emporium Boathouse Gallery and Gift Boutique, where over 30 local artists produce an eclectic collection of fine art. Thanks, Catherine. We're down here at 177 Main Street in Port Stanley now with Robin Beretta of the Art Emporium. Thanks for, so much for joining us, Robin. Thank you for having us. So can you give us a little bit of history about the Art Emporium? Certainly. Um, the Art Emporium came about because five of us, myself, Robert Reed, uh, Sandra England, Rose Klein, and uh, Junan Reed, knew each other from doing the art shows and the art fairs and the art in the parks and the studio tours. And we felt there had to be a better way um, of presenting art to the public. We discovered we had a common experience of spending about $1,500 to $2,000 a year and uh, maybe breaking even at these art shows, et cetera, but that's how an artist gets their name out. And it just it seemed like there was an awful lot of work for very little in return. And we wanted to create a place where artists could come and show their work and not have to pay a lot of money and not have to pay big commissions and not have to do all the work of slugging their art around and possibly damaging it and getting the wind blow your tent over and the rain damage your work, et cetera, et cetera. So we have the Art Emporium. Wonderful. Now tell us a little bit about the experience for someone as soon as they walk through the front door. Well, we call it the wow effect. <laughs> um, the main part of the or the entranceway into the gallery is uh, what we call the gift boutique. And uh, that's where we have some emerging artists showing their work, work that is maybe not quite ready for prime time, but they're really interested and motivated to have a career in the arts. We have some funkier things. We have um, more um, art and craft items, not that wood turning or some of the other wonderful things we have like pottery, art and craft, but they're um, maybe not what people would generally think of seeing in a gallery. Um, those people, those artists, pay a commission and they're there on consignment, and it's a wonderful intro to bring people in to the gallery itself. Then, after they've gone through the boutique, people come in and they turn the corner and they come into this, the Boathouse Gallery. Uh, this is actually an old boathouse that has been converted into a gallery. The light is wonderful. And as I said, we call it the wow effect because they turn the corner and just as your cameraman did, they stop and they go, wow. <laughs> and there was a big wow when he turned that corner for sure. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about what's on the walls and in this space. Well, the artists whose work are, is in the boathouse gallery are all juried in. That means that they uh, have to apply, we look at their work, we decide if it's A, what we're looking for, and B, um, ready to be shown in the gallery. And we have a very diverse group of artists. Uh, when we were starting this, we, well, first of all, we put all of our learning together because all of us, as well as doing the art shows, had also done individual galleries in our homes and in other locations. We had a couple of experiences where we worked together on galleries. And we, one of the things we realized really quickly is you need a very large, very diverse, very talented group of artists. And so that's what we have here. Um, we have everything. <laughs> we have all the media is colored pretty, covered pretty much. We have sculpture, some fabulous sculpture, uh, photography, it's all here. And how many are on display at any given time artist work? In the Boathouse Gallery, there's 39 artists whose work is here. Uh, in the boutique, we have another 60 artists whose work is on display. Uh, they have a much smaller presence for each individual artist, obviously. And um, it's constantly changing. It's very diverse. Uh, our artists in the Boathouse in particular are um, encouraged to think of this as their own little space, their own little store, and to change their work up on a regular basis. So every time you come, it's different. Wonderful. Now, how can people find the Art Emporium? Are you online? Are there events? Things like that? Yes, we're online. We have uh, theartemporium.ca is our um, website. Plus, we have a blog. Um, it's a Blogspot blog. And uh, we have all kinds of events going on. We um, have uh, the Elgin Tourist website that has the events listings. Inside Elgin has uh, event listings. There are a number of places where we do post our events besides our own website. Facebook is a big one. Uh, this Saturday is going to be our third anniversary bash. 
Uh, we're having a party. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we have uh, a program called Be a Saturday Artist, and we invite anybody who wants to come down to come down on Saturday mornings and play with paint. Um, the only th medium that we're not allowed to have in the building as per our lease is uh, oil-based, like solvent-based oils, rather. But uh, we've had sculptors come down with their clay. We've had um, a gentleman who carves come down. Uh, just all kinds of things, as well as, of course, paint. Oh, wonderful. So any last comments before we throw it back to Catherine in the studio? Come down. You won't be disappointed. And for that wow factor, I highly recommend coming down to the Art Emporium. Back to you, Catherine. Thanks, Kate. Make sure to visit www.artemporium.ca for a full list of member artists and a list of upcoming workshops. Let's take a short break. Welcome back. The last stop on our show today is Alley Cat Music in West Lorne, providing a range of musical services to the residents of Western Elgin County. Thanks, Catherine. We're down here in West Lorne on the main drag at Alley Cat Music with Josh Davey. So, Josh, tell us a little bit about where Alley Cat Music came from. Uh, well, Alley Cat Music kind of started out, uh, we were working out in the area and we bought the building and I thought, well, I've been building guitars for a while, might as well open my own shop and, well, this is what we got. Wonderful. So, how long have you been building guitars for? I've been building guitars since I was uh, about four or five years old. <laughs> and where does the passion come from for building guitars? Uh, well, the passion for the building comes from my father and then my passion for music, I suppose that comes from my mother. Wonderful. So both creative people. I know I've met them. Yep. Um, so tell us a little bit about the store and what's here in the shop. Uh, well, we're a full service music store. We provide uh, sales service. We do build, full custom builds. We do repairs, all kinds of stuff, as well as uh, lessons. Great. So before we started filming, you were showing us in the shop there that you um, do custom builds. Can you tell us a little bit about the custom builds? Uh, of course. Uh, we custom build electric and acoustic guitars as well as some more unique stuff. Uh, right now I'm working on a custom five-string mandolin, uh, and we actually had a local builder build the uh, the pickups for it. Neat. So people can come into the shop and order custom from you? Yes, uh, and we, can, we don't just do full guitars. If, say, somebody wants just a neck for a guitar they have, we can build a neck, or if they've got a body, or if they want a body for a neck they have, we can do that as well. Oh, neat. And apart from building the guitars, you also service them. I, I noticed when we came in, you were doing some service. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, that one's a customer's Les Paul, and uh, I'm rewiring it uh, completely. Uh, there's no original materials left in it. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us who you're rewiring it after. Uh, it's actually being re rewired the same as uh, Jimmy Page's Les Paul, aside from uh, the potentiometers aren't exactly the same they're a little different a little better i find great so 
if somebody's interested in having a guitar wired like Jimmy Page's, or how do you find that out? How do you get that information? Ah, uh, well, I've been doing the research on it since I was about 12, 13 years old, rewiring guitars. That's how I made money in high school. <laughs> so, um, so I've been doing it for that long. So I got a little bit of uh, experience doing pretty much whatever I want with them. Neat. So in this shop, you've got a lot of guitars hanging up for sale as well. So beyond the custom work, what can people buy in the shop? Uh, well, we do a lot of orders, but we also have carry a decent selection of guitars. We carry some stuff. We carry a lot of stuff that nobody else in the area carries, such as Recording King and The Lore and stuff like that. Great. And beyond the guitars, there's a few drums at the front, but not just any kind of drums. Tell us about those. Uh, well, those are kind of a lower-end drum, but they're they're a decent price. You can get a, a decent drum kit with cymbals and everything for less than a 1000 bucks. so... And last but not least, any events or anything that's happening in the shop on a regular basis you'd like our viewers to know about? Uh, no, not really. Every once in a while we have open mics and stuff like that, but it, a little more organic. Great. And if people are looking to get a hold of you, what's the best way? Uh, the best way would just be to stop in and say hello. I'm, I suppose I'm pretty friendly. Great. And are you online at all? Uh, yes, I've got Facebook as well as my own website. It's uh, alleycatmusic.ca, cat with a K. Great. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Josh. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Back to you, Catherine.